Hi guys, I just wanted to hop on really quick. It's a new week. I love to come on either Sunday or Monday, get us, uh, you know, ready for the week ahead, right? Because it's always something new coming in with every day. And I really wanted to, if you can see all the beautiful items I have on the table here, just to go over some of the things that we do once we come in to Bev's Serenity Space. So this is my table, this is the light bed. Um, I have a bunch of stone. I love using the stone energy, the crystal light. I am a crystal uh, practitioner, so I try to incorporate all the different types of stone energy into the healing. So whether it be I make a crystal grid around the body or I do a crystal layout, meaning I put a stone on each chakra to represent that chakra, to represent whatever we want. I want grounded, I may put you know, black tourmaline at your feet. I may put selenite, which is what I use no matter what, at your crown, your third eye, to open things up, cleanse, protect, you know, bring, bring in all the good juicy energy we want to have in. So first thing anyone does as they sit down is they hold this beautiful selenite sphere. And I made a beautiful post yesterday about the selenite and um, it's the Greek word selene for the moon. It's meant to transmute negative energy. It's meant to you know raise our vibration amplify other energy so if you don't have selenite get you some selenite if you have other stones have it around those stones because it cleanses it you don't need to worry about you know putting it on the moon and you know putting it in sand or washing it under water selenite does all of that so it's a two for one all right so get some selenite have it around your space your dinner table your office desk in your car wherever it is you want to clear negative energy and keep it amplified and i utilize a lot of selenite this is one it's a unicorn horn i found in mount shasta in 2016 i love it i usually put it at the you know on the crown on the back of someone's head right here because i want to open up that crown get beautiful energy in um i also have my beautiful selenite sword and I have this, I have a pair, and I call it my masculine and feminine. This is my Archangel Michael, and this is my Black Madonna. That's my stuff in my own head. But it's a selenite sword, and I use it for cord cutting. If you ever heard of cord cutting, you know, things we have, all negative energy that attaches to us. We always want to release those energy, and I like using the selenite because it transmutes it. So I'm telling you, when I cut cords, it is evident that I'm cutting cords. The client has some type of reaction, even though they may have blind, uh, um, you know, the uh, blindfold on or the um, headphones on. There is a reaction to them. They may not even know it. So that's my selenite sword that I use. I use these selenite plates to charge all the stones that I use. So on this plate, I have some black tourmaline, you know, for grounding, protection, all different stones for whatever reason. This is green adventuring, this is prosperity, good luck. This is um, the rough form of carnelian, bringing in positive energy, courage, strength, power into, you know, the, the healing session. Rose quartz, always have rose quartz around. This is a stone of love, healing. It's just like the beautiful stone and I love the heart shape that it represent love and the heart. I also love lapis and this is a beautiful, perfect piece. It goes right on the third eye, you know? I have another piece of lapis that I like to put in the throat chakra here for communication. Um, I also use a black tourmaline here sometimes to cleanse and protect our throat chakra. Our throat chakra is so important, you know? And then I have this beautiful celestite. This is like the angel stone. So I like to welcome all angel present here for myself or the client to come in and just create a beautiful feeling of um, that you're surrounded by angels. Another rose quartz I love is shaped of a fish. It's flat. I love I can put it right on the heart. It's not too heavy, um, you know, and it just really gets a beautiful vibration of the heart chakra. So... And it's also, I learned the fish, the symbol is a, a symbol for Jesus Christ. So if you didn't know that, this is something I also learned. So I love it. I also have it as a ring somewhere, um, the Jesus Christ symbol. Um, this is my Zen one. And Zen one, I've been using this for over five years. 
It's uh, from a company, Zen Wand, and it has the, the emblem in here. It has the chakra stones, and it really is a beautiful start and end. I really open up every session and seal every session, and I intend archangels, I intend ascended masters to come forward, to be present, to assist me in the healing. Okay, um, one thing that is a major part of my healing session is my tuning fork. So I have the, you know, tuning forks, the weighted ones and the unweighted ones. I start and end every session with this tuning fork, okay? And um, I have the ohm, I have a pineal gland wand, ohm wand. So it really is whatever I feel the energy to play for, for the person. I also have this crystal tuning forks, and this is amazing. This has just like a beautiful toned you probably won't hear it on the phone, but it really is a beautiful healing vibration. And I just go over the patient, the client with this, clearing the chakras and just really raising the vibration. Okay, so some of the things that we started um, in the last week, I used to give this out as a gift uh, a few years ago. I brought it back. This is going to be, every client is going to get one. This is their own personal eye patch. This just helps to block the light, helps to really get us to meditate, get us in a nice, calming, relaxing uh, type of vibration. So every client is going to get this. I also have disposable um, headphones, you know, to put on. Every client will get this, and then I'm going to keep it here for when you return for your next visit. We're all going to get a pouch with your name on it, so it's going to have your, your eye mask and your protector for the headphones so that I'm keeping everything, trying to keep everything for a per client basis. So that's a few of the things that we have here. Um, I'm going to grab my bowl really quick, and I'm just going to do a quick, um, of course, my uh, Moldavite bowl, which is one of my favorite bowls. Moldavite is a stone of transformation. So I love to play this bowl during a session. It helps to transmute energy, transform it into positive energy. So just take a nice deep cleansing breath. And I'm sorry if I appear to be rushing through the words, but I just want to get it all out. Um, and that's how it's coming. So just take a nice deep cleansing breath. grateful to be here in that serenity space I welcome you all I just had two beautiful clients today two beautiful you know healing session and it just keeps getting better and better and I'm very grateful thank you for all the referrals thank you for all the new clients thank you for all my old clients everyone is always welcome here we love you here at Bev serenity space and namaste Bye.